Hi everybody, welcome to this new tutorial on the Baguette Investor channel. This is going to be a tutorial about how to make a ETF screener in the TradingView app. This is going to be this is going to help you to catch the best performing and the best trends on ETFs and to be able to spot the best configuration so you can position yourself either on ETFs or to to check the sectorial trends thanks to the ETFs. So to be really clear about what I mean by that, I'm going to take a few examples of things that I've seen with my screener so we both agree on what we're looking at. So for example, I saw this Remix ETF, which is a rare earth strategic metals ETF. I, I see that thanks to my screener, the rare earth sector is one of the strongest sector at the moment. Another one, I made a special video on it. The uranium sector is very, very Good. I do not position myself directly on ETFs. I use the ETFs to check for sectorial trends, and then I will position myself on the best stocks on these sectorial trends. I am trade. I am trying this strategy. It is not a strategy that I have tested into the real world. I'm going to test this strategy in the next years, and I'm going to see how it plays. So, if you want to do the same thing, either position yourself on ETFs or on specific stocks, you're going to go to the bottom left of your screen, where you have stock screener. You're going to click on it. It appears and you are displayed with these list. So my list is sort by most capitalized stocks. So this is the US market. You can change the market right there, which is the US because this is the stock market that has the most ETFs. And then we're going to check uh, this tr list, which is set on overview. First thing you want to do is check your time frame. You want to be screening for daily, weekly, monthly. I choose the weekly because I want this to be long term trends. And then we're going to go to the filters. So I already have my ETF screener presented here. So I click on it. It's going to apply already the sort I need. Then I'm going to take my ETF list, click on it. It's going to apply the things I need. I'm going to describe this all so you can clearly understand. So first we're going to go to the filters. So you click the blue line and it allows you to choose which filter you want. So you're going to take symbol type. You're going to take only ETFs, not REIT, not trust funds, not ETN, not common stock, just the ETFs so that it gives you only the ETFs in the trading list. Then you're going to check for RSI between 50 and 80, which means either a trend or either a consolidation that allows us to remove the things that are parabolic, which are going to have a RSI superior to 80, and the things that are downtrending, which has our RSI below 50. Then you're going to print the exponential moving average 10 above the exponential moving average 30, which is going to allow you to express the ETFs that are in a bullish trend only. After you did that, you need to check your list. So your columns, you can change them right there. So if you have a column you don't like, you can right click on it and check remove column. And if you want to add a column, you're going to add the six month performance, the monthly performance and the yearly performance. Of course, the sector is not useful because there are no sectors to these ETFs. And you're going to be able to sort these uh, columns by performance. So if you want the best performing of the year, which are usually what we call market leaders, you're going to click on sort by yearly performance. And then it's going to give you the best performing assets. You can also check by the best performing of the month and it's going to give you, well, which is which kind of sector is pumping at the moment. You can see we have uh, robotic artificial intelligence and automation that is uh, making new highs. There is uh, energy momentum ETF. You can see that it gives you a very good idea and there is really some kind of some things to check on this. Even better thing to do, you can even sort by a uh, new high. So you can choose if you want your ETF to make a new all time high, 52 weeks, six month, three month, one month high. So let's check the ETFs that make a new 52 high. You have 36 of them. You have uh, MSCI India, you have Invesco Energy Fund, you have India Growth Leaders, you have MSCI India Small Caps. You can see this all allows you to check for sectorial and indexes trends thanks to the ETFs. 
So this is really all you need to do. You can play with it a little bit and I hope you're going to make much better things than I do because I'm mo I think most of you are much, much better at this than me. If you have some ideas, well, leave them in the comments. If you liked the video and it helped you, please subscribe for more and more videos, more. I want, I want to provide as much value as I can to you. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next tutorials. Goodbye.